what do you get when you mix dragon as seen in the civil as in typology as in ahab beast as seen in the typology in jezebel and the false prophet which is seen in typology in the false prophets who thought they could bring fire down from heaven i'll tell you what you get you get here the three parts that make up babylon now if you can understand that all of these three parts are an amalgamation a culmination making up the future application of babylon mystery babylon the great the mother of harlots revelation 13 and he causeth all both small and great rich and poor free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead and that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name revelation 13 we are not talking about the first beast the sea beast revelation 13 1 through 10 we are talking about the entity that rises from the earth that entity will make an image and enforce they have their claws in the merchants and who is that beast from revelation 13 verses 11 through 18. the bible says that this entity was a lamb like but it will eventually speak as a dragon and you will clearly see that the two horns on the lamb represent our religious and civil liberty in this great united states of america i say this great united states of america tongue-in-cheek because as you can clearly see that we are now speaking as a dragon. And this entity is part of the third part that makes up Babylon.